Tito, and we're here with Duff PE teacher Matt Bostick for week eight of Workout Wednesday. Right. Your way to get through the at-home learning hub, give you something else to do, and Matt, what are we doing this week? All right, so last week we did our AMRAP, where we learned that we could set that timer, and then we want to try and get as many rounds of our circuit as we can get, all right? We developed that little friendly competition we talked about <laughs> among uh, friends or students. This is kind of one of those workouts, it's kind of the same thing, because I kind of talk about these as being like a benchmark workout. Maybe after we do this one, we record the time it takes for us, and then in a couple weeks we go back to it and see if our fitness has improved, all right? So this is a uh, workout for time, so once we start this, we want to hit our stopwatch. We're doing uh, five exercises, and this is just straight through. All right, so we'd start with our first exercise, we do the prescribed number of repetitions, and then keep moving all the way down until we're done. So no breaks all right. at all? Only if you need them. All right, <laughs> every time you take a break, obviously that would affect your time, <laughs> oh, damn but um, you get to build breaks. in your own breaks. There's oh. no built-in rest, that's correct. Okay. All right, and we're using pretty simple um, exercises that we've done before. All right, so the workout prescribed would be 50 jumping jacks. You do those straight, 40 air squats. Then we go down to 30 lunges, 15 per leg. All right, we do 20 sit-ups or crunches. We talked about that last week. If you're not there with a full sit-up yet or you don't have something to anchor your feet, you can just do crunches, which is just a little bit off the ground, and then finish with 10 push-ups. All right, so it's basically 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That sounds better than 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. <laughs> so here, we'll just demonstrate. I'm going to do about 10 of each one just to kind of show them how you roll through it. And then, like I said, the exercise would be 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. All right. right. Have a full workout. 40 squats and then 30 lunges. And That's then right. I would be asleep. Well, and you asked about rest periods. Is there a built-in rest period? We were talking about that earlier, and I said, that's up to you. It's however you want to. If you need a break after the jumping jacks, take a little break, all right, until you're ready to go. Demonstrate okay. away. All right, so we start again with our 50 jumping jacks, keeping our hands above our, or 50. I'm doing 10. Okay, all right. All I right. got that. That's better to me. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. 10, then we move down to our air squats. We do 40. I'm just going to do about 10 of those. Remember, keep those feet a little outside your shoulders. Are you counting for me? Yeah, I've okay. got six, six seven, <laughs> sure. eight, eight <laughs> nine, nine, better you than me, and then ten. ten. We'd move down to our lunges. So that builds up a little bit of a burn when you do those 40 air squats and then you move into those 30 lunges. Just be ready for that. My legs, even after doing ten, were a little burning a little bit, so we'd do our lunges after this. Remember, try and stay nice and tall. Barely touch your knee to the ground. If you need to, hands out for balance. I would definitely need to. I found out lunges I cannot do. I have no balance. We know that. You know, sometimes sure. it varies for me. Some days I need my hands out. Some days I put them on my chest. It just kind of varies. So we do our lunges. Then we lay down and we do our sit-ups or our crunches. Remember, you can do those with your feet underneath your couch if you need to. And then we'd finish with our 10 push-ups. All right. And I would recommend with your push-ups, you could do regular, like we did at the very beginning of all of our workouts, or that new one, the hand release push -up. I like the hand release one. That was mm -hmm. good. And then I think about eight weeks in, if, these, if all our students have followed you for eight weeks, and our adults, eight weeks, this should be nothing for them. They should be so prepared for this. This should be so. a great competition that you'd probably destroy me on. I'm guaranteeing that. Well, like I said, it's a great way to gauge your fitness. Do it, record your time. A couple weeks go by, try it again, see how you've improved. And this is something you don't have to do once the summer starts. This is something you can continue to do all summer. It oh, doesn't yeah. have to be just because we're at home all now and doing the at-home learning. Well, this can so be done inside and air conditioning too. That air, air conditioning is going to be it outside right now. Gym. Air conditioning is going to be a good thing to have. That's right. All right. Well, that completes week eight. It's hard to believe we've done eight of these, but yeah. completes week eight of Workout Wednesday. Thanks, Matt. Good. Next week we'll be here for the finale of Workout Wednesday.